YouTube. We are back with another video. It's your boy Big Drew. Today we're going grocery shopping. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I feel like I ain't been grocery shopping in God knows how long, so I really don't even know what to get. I had just got me this big case of water because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. I've been slipping on drinking water. <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna keep it so 100. I've been drinking too much of this. Oh, bro. I be trying to take care of my skin. I cannot take care of my skin like that. It be impulsive. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I come home from a long day, you know, you don't ever just like crave like sugar. I be craving sugar. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But I mean, so far, I got my breakfast stuff. Uh, trying to find some stuff I could do for like lunch throughout the day, like when I'm bored or like while I'm at work and things like that. I'm so used, I'm telling y'all, I, I done got so used to like eating out that I done damn forgot how to like grocery shop. I be busy fam. I be like out working. I work almost every single day. Then when I'm not working, you know, I still do my uh, photography on the side. So I be booked with that, trying to get booked, promoting myself, creating new stuff. And then, you know, like with YouTube, I'm trying to get back right with that as well. So it's just, it's a bunch of stuff. But I mean, at the same time, if I'm being real with myself too, these are really just excuses. So I just gotta learn how to tighten up. Like, no, okay, I just gotta tighten up. Now, one thing about me, bro, I'll eat some breakfast. 100%, I, I will sit here and I will eat breakfast all day if I could. I remember I used to go to Waffle House like almost every day, tripping frozen goods now i might just finish it off with a little little public sub nothing too crazy nothing too crazy and like little shit like you see like we got the like the beans and whatnot like i'll give me like a can of beans probably a pack of hot dogs or something and i'll probably thug it out with that like i could do that for like a, a smooth like i need to find where they own where they keep their noodles and stuff. Cause the craziest part is they just built this Publix. So like, I don't know where nothing is at for real. I smell like fish on this fish. It smells a little too familiar. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bro, when did they start making, for one, strawberry milkshake Frosted Flakes? And then they got Frosted Flakes with the marshmallows on it. I ain't never, I ain't never seen nothing like that before. Man, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. Vlogging in public by myself is like probably one of the weirdest things I do. Like, and I feel like it's not even weird for real. It's just, it's new. Cause it's something that I don't, I don't even be doing for real. So it's like, now that I'm doing it, it's like, damn. I, I wanna be able to, you know, like do this on a regular without like, you know, sitting here worried if oh this person going to look at me and laugh or well, these people going to think i'm weird because i do this because i'm not going to lie like in the process like i can honestly say like i get every now and then like side eyes here and there but the question at hand is like happy these folks i'm not even going to never see them again and even, even if i do see them again they, we might not even recognize each other so it's like you know when it comes, one thing I learned, like, as far as, like, this content creating shit, like, you just, it's all about stepping out your comfort zone, like, literally. Like, it feels weird, and it's one of them things where it's like, damn, it's okay to be nervous, it's okay to be different, but at the end of the day, if this is some shit you want to do, and you want to, like, make it for real, then you're going to do what you got to do. You do what I'm saying? Like, you block out the noise whenever these people start judging you or you feel like they're looking at you a certain way don't even listen to that shit don't even stun it because at the end of the day you doing what you got to do to make something of yourself and to put your people on all that like this is what i do this for like i know i don't personally i don't see my youtube taking off for another couple years but at the same time i'm teaching myself to fall in love with the process because with all of this, you got to learn how to fall in love with what you do or else it ain't going to be nothing. Because if you, if you can't treat your job like, you know, a fun activity, 
then that, it's gonna get to a point to where you're just gonna start hating it all together. So with this YouTube shit, one of the main things that I gotta say is just literally fall in love with it, bro. Like, don't get discouraged. Don't allow, oh, you see all these other YouTubers getting money, buying cars, doing what they do. Don't even let any of that shit be the reason that you stop. Let that shit fuel you and know that it's possible. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's there. It's right in front of us. You just gotta go grab it, like, literally, bro. Like, you gotta go get it. Like, ain't nobody gonna sit here and give it to you. Stop looking for handouts. Stop thinking, like, oh, you know, this person or that person might might fuck with me or help me. Man, if you gotta get this shit out of the mud on your own, do what you gotta do. Like, I'm here by myself, bro. Like, I'm, I, I record my own shit. I edit my own shit. I, I do everything on my own, bro. Like, I may not be top tier or, like, the best person doing it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Just show up for yourself. Everything else gonna follow. The money gonna come. The girls gonna come. The cars gonna come. The luxury gonna come. Just lock in and focus, bro. Like, literally, that's, that's all you really gotta do. Facts. Mm -mm -mm. All right, man, so I'm headed to a photo shoot right now. I'm pretty sure for those who don't know, I'm a photographer on the sideline. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead and book Top Shop visuals, you know? So I got main camera, shoulder strap, backup camera. SD cards, all that. Yeah, we good to go. I'm actually just on time, so that's the craziest part. Burgundy growing on me, man. Mm. Man, it's so hot out here. All right, I'm gonna check in with y'all when we get to the studio, though, bro. Y'all better stay tuned. Successful shoot. Jesus. It is 94 degrees right now. Successful shoot. Happy is over. Cause it's hot, bro. Like it is mad hot. Oh yeah, man. About to head back to the crib. About to get ready to uh, go kick it. Head to work. All that. So. All right, y'all boys. I'm in a bit of a hurry because I thought I was supposed to be at work until four o'clock, bro. I'm supposed to be at work at three. It is now 2.26. Luckily, oh shit, there's some speed ones, bro. Luckily, I only live like, what, uh, 15 minutes from my job, so I'll be just making it, but I'll be liking to be early though. Cause you know, I just like to be on time and shit. But I mean, I ain't gonna complain though. But, I mean, uh, 
it really just a regular little day for me. Just trying to, you know, get back in the groove of posting on YouTube and just getting like some some small content together. Nothing too crazy, for real. But my shift, I should be, I shouldn't be working too long today. Like I get off at like 10, and crazy, like a little seven hour shift. I don't really gotta do too much. When that's over with, I'm gonna come back to the crib. I wanna whip up a little something. I wanna cook, cause I, I wanna cook something. Cause I finally um, went grocery shopping, but at the same time, I don't keep it hunting with y'all, bro. When I be getting off of work at 10, bro, I be exhausted, like no cap. Like I be ready to go straight to bed, bro. Like I'll probably make me some noodles and just KO, I swear. So I mean, we gonna have to just see. But I might make me a little breakfast. I might make me a little small little meal or something tonight. Nothing crazy, so. Uh, when I get to work, I'm gonna check in with y'all here. And then, hold on. I ain't gonna count. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna check in with y'all when I get to work. And we're gonna see what's going on later on tonight. Uh, yeah, appreciate y'all for kicking with me, man. Well, y'all, I'm about to get up out of here, bro. My head, my hair look red as hell right now. It's just burgundy, though. Know? I ain't want my hair to be no bright red. It's just the way this light hitting on it right now. It look bright as hell. But I just like the way it sit on me, though. Yeah, today, today was a smooth day at work. I really can't even complain. I ain't gonna lie, I was mad at first that I had to work tonight. Hold on, my light in here is trash. I was upset at first that I had to work tonight, but I can't lie, it turned out for the better. Um, Fucked around, I was able to network a little bit, you know, handle my business. Just do what I do, talk to people, shit like that. And I'm just, you know, taking everything day by day, man. I'm just ready to be successful, bro. I'm so ready to be successful, like, Tired of taking out people's trash, rich people trash. Like, maybe to look back and shit like this and just think, like, one day, bro, stay patient. God is doing what he gotta do. Just stay patient, bro. But I'm pretty sure my manager is watching me on this camera right now, thinking I'm on the phone with somebody. So I'm about to go ahead Cut it off right here and catch y'all at the spot. What's the deal, for? Forbes!
man, I just went crazy in the kitchen, bro. The sausage a little burnt, I ain't gonna lie. But that did be my favorite part, though. Ooh. Drink that whole thing in syrup. I don't know about y'all, but I love me some syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, man. I guess y'all tune in my little mukbang. I just snap. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, give me a second. When I'm about to do this food, can't even be on camera. You see that steam? <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> Five minutes later. What's the deal, Paul? Right. I had to turn my ring light on because I ain't had no. Right, let me show y'all what my lights look like. I'm pretty sure if you fuck with my YouTube for real, if you fuck with my YouTube for real, you know what my lighting looks like. So if you see me sitting in this spot. That's going on. Point blank. I ain't gonna count to y'all, bro. I really didn't have that much content to make for this vlog. It's just like a, just something to just let y'all know I'm still here. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm supposed to be making like mad content with some of the guys. Um, I'm supposed to be putting some stuff together. Apparently my friends, they want to start out on a group YouTube. So that's, that should be cool though. I like it's like one of them things where it's like when it comes to content creating, when people say like, oh we gonna um, we wanna start a group, we wanna be the next AMP, you gotta be sure niggas are serious when they say shit like that. Cause what's the deal, Paul? Man, this content creating stuff comes with so much time. Like you gotta put some time into this. I'm talking about recording, editing, like all of that, bro. It's it, it comes with so much. So. If you got a group of people that's saying like they want to do this, this and that, man, hold them accountable. And if they not serious, then just do what you got to do, bro. Now, mind you, these are my childhood friends, though. Like, I've known these boys since like middle school. I'm talking middle school. We down senior year for, from all the way to senior year. We over here betting to see who gonna lose their virginity first, like. 16 years old we man we've been on that like we that right there to let you know how locked in i am with these boys so y'all gonna be seeing them like featured in a couple of vlogs here and there shit i might just record one tomorrow right now why like why not well, you know everybody that is watching this though i just want to let them know like hey all of my supporters everybody who's like showing love out of my 143 subscribers <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I know some of y'all mad at me because they're like, man, what the hell, bro? We rooting for you and you ain't even posting. And I'm just like, damn, I'm tripping. I'm about to really go and get up out of here, man. I'm about to go ahead and end this video on a positive note. I'm about to leave y'all with just one message. I already talked about it earlier in the vlog, but stay down, stay patient. Your time is coming, bro. For real. All everybody's time coming, like. Don't rush God's process. Let him do what he do. He, he's running everything. Like, he already got everything that you need set in stone. And fall in love with the process. When it comes down to this stuff, bro, you have to fall in love with the process. Really, realistically speaking, I feel like by the end of this year, I'll be surpassed a thousand subscribers. Straight up. What's the deal? I'll be like, Sir Pat, I want to, my goal for the end of this year is to be at 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 is what I'm aiming for. So every video, I'm probably going to put a little sub count, like somewhere like randomly. I promise y'all, you know, I'm going to keep doing what I got to do to get to where I need to be. I ain't going to stop. You know, I may fall off the ball sometimes, but that's just what come with it, bro. So again, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Your boy Big Drew, the biggest, man. Hey, man, I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next video. 
Next video, y'all gonna meet the whole gang, the Mob Dynasty. That's what we calling ourselves, TMD. Y'all remember that name, bro. Peace.